I'm going to do short division to do to work this out as a decimal. So 11s into 3. Now 11s into 3 don't go, so I put a 0 there. But I don't just leave remainder 3. What I need to now do is carry it on. So put 3.0 in and then move the 3 along. And we can still do short division in the same way that we would before. So 11s into 30, now go twice, remainder 8. So that 8, I just keep writing zeros until I, until I want to stop, because that's 3 is the same as 3.0000. 11s into 80, go 7, 77, remainder 3. And then we're back to where we were. It's going to be 2 um, with a remainder 8 and 7 and so on. And it will go on forever. And we can write this as 0 0.27 recurring with a little dot above the 2 and the 7 to show that it's those that are repeating. Just for info, another way that you could have done this question is you could have written it over 99 by timesing top and bottom by 9 to give 27 over 99. And that would also give you the answer because that, that always works. If I had 35 over 99, and I would get 0.35 recurring. I haven't really proven that, but it is a fact. I'd say don't learn that fact necessarily. You know, well, actually, it's good to know, but like, don't just use that. Learn, make sure you can do short division regardless. We're then asked to do the opposite thing. Can we go from um, a recurring decimal back to a fraction? Now, here's what we can do. Here's the standard approach. Let's x equal 0.48 recurring this time just the eight is recurring um so i might write it in its more full for form just put some eights in right now the, the the approach for this is to do a subtraction so multiply it through by 10 because there's just one thing that's being repeated so that's going to become 4.8888 and so on and then we subtract them we do 10x minus x and that's going to become 4.888 minus 0 0.4. And this is great because these just cancel out. That's why this approach works. And when we get to this bit, we're going to get 4 and 4 here. So 4.4. And here we're going to get 9x. So I'm left with 9x equals 4.4. Therefore, x equals 4.4 over 9, which I'm nearly there with. It's asked for simplest form. So first of all, times through by 10, top and bottom, to get rid of that decimal, and then try to cancel it down. There's going to be a common factor of 2, 22. Actually, there's a common. No, that's going to be, that's going to be it. 22 over 45. So that's the topic of recurring decimals going from recurring decimal, sorry, from fraction to recurring decimal and recurring decimal back to fraction.